Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Marky B. We're going to do some air raiding today. Check it out. Here we go. So we got Marky Mark doing the aeration. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this, man. It's your boy, Marky B. Going to do some air raiding today. It's all great. It's all good in the hood. Uh oh, it looked like Marky Mark almost had a mishap right there, guys. But I think he got it under control. So this is an aeration property we did uh, in 2020. I was gonna say 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Ain't no 2,000. In 2020, we did the spring aeration service. And uh, as you can see, this particular front yard, you can see that it's very bare. Very bare here, right here. Bare right there. Boom, all that area is you got spots and this is this pretty much goes throughout the uh, whole front yard customer wanted some overseeding so i told him yeah you know what we'll overseed we'll fertilize but also let us aerate and that'll actually help the uh promotion of growth of the grass a whole lot better right um, a lot of this of course we see that it's under a uh, tree nothing but shade here guys so of course you're gonna grow a lot of grass here but aeration will help and we went ahead and also uh, we thinned out this tree that you see here which also helps with the uh, to promote grass growth now if I could show you a after picture of what this lawn looks now it's uh all of pretty much it's filled up all those dead spots brown spots bare spots bear with me fellas let me get a drink of my coffee has been uh filled up and it is actually thickened up so of course that was the uh, reason of doing this right so of course customer happy satisfied as always eclipse lawn care yeah bud here we go so this uh, particular machine we're using is a Home Depot brand rental. Now if we use another machine. It's a green machine. I forget what it's called, but I think the green machine might be a little bit more uh, easier to control for some reason. This one is just tough. It's just awkward. Like you got to make 90, de 90 degree angles is is the easiest way to turn it because you got to pull up on that thing so you can bring the tines up you go you mow you go forward not mow but you aerate forward you gotta every time you you gotta make a turn or curve you have to pick up the tines it's just the pain in the rear end to use this machine the other one i think it might be a little bit easier to control i don't remember but either way uh, aeration is definitely a good money if you want to get into the aeration game and you guys are brand new I suggest y'all y'all try it out try it out you definitely make uh, some decent money using this especially if you line up two three four aerations a day you just go out to Home Depot Lowe's and get you an aerator like this which will probably cost you about a hundred bucks to rent for for a day I believe I don't remember but uh, it's definitely good money. It's really, it, and it's easy to do. It's easy to do. It does take a lot of uh, manhandling of the machine, as you could tell here. But it, it, it works. Aeration does work. And uh, you could definitely collect that cheddar. So, if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. I'm not an expert at aeration. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to tell you the uh, scientific process how why why how this works and all this i'm not even going to try y'all guys can google that but it works okay so i definitely suggest that before you start an aeration job like this um flag all of your irrigation heads uh anything that that you could break you know like the caps for the irrigation systems and stuff like that the valves valve covers make sure you flag those that way you don't run over them because you will definitely damage uh things like that or like if there's uh stumps mark those up rocks you know stuff that that, that are hard you don't want to damage 
the machine of course and then you don't want the machine to damage whatever is there too so make sure you flag those up before you start and like i mentioned just line up three or four houses a day especially if there's small little yards like this line those up charge accordingly rent you a machine unless you could if you already have a machine then awesome but i will definitely uh use a machine that just don't poke holes in the ground use something that actually pours out the the ground meaning it, it'll pull out plugs that's going to be your best bet and then of course you want to overseed uh with the uh, right seed and um and fertilize and you will definitely see a season you want to do it like in spring and then you want to do maybe another aeration in fall so it's it's a good service it's definitely a good service of course this season i'm going solo this season so i'm not going to do any aeration just because i'm going to be already full just mowing grass so if i do any aeration i'll probably wait till the fall to do um aeration that way you know usually when the fall winter season starts or you know my mowing season starts to kind of slow down then i'll start doing some aeration service or aerating service and i believe this front yard we aerated or we uh overseeded with rye if i'm not mistaken and then in the backyard we overseeded with bermuda and the backyard isn't as bad but we went ahead and still aerated the backyard as you can see right here there's st there is still some spots like back there where mark is and over to the right there's a little uh uh tool shed that also uh we filled up very very good so the backyard is a little bit bigger it did take a little bit longer but we still knocked it out and i think we had like like i mentioned i had four three or four aerations this particular day so we rented out the machine for a day and uh me and mark just kind of took turns on um the properties it, it, this does wear you out so but you know it's a good thing it wasn't super hot this day it wasn't you know we had it was cloudy had a nice little overcast so it wasn't too bad and that was one of the reasons why we wanted to do the aeration on this particular day so we just scheduled the customers three to four customers rent the machine knock them out collect our cheddar got to get what's mines and uh you know that's it pretty much guys so if you guys have any uh questions please let me know in the comments below and um what do you think about aerating do you guys aerate y'all let me know in the comments below as well it's definitely good money definitely good money but thank you guys for uh watching i think we're gonna go ahead and end the video somewhere around here guys because as we can see mark is almost done with the backyard so please guys subscribe hit that notification bell button hit me up in the comments let me know do you guys aerate what type of machine do y'all like to use and we'll see you on the next video peace